<laughs> Let's talk about J. Cole. Oh, man. Damn. We, we, we will get back to that uh, big beef, right? Nah, you There's gonna some, get back to that. Nah, we gonna get to it together. <laughs> Bro, we got to right right tackle the beef. Come on. Problem I'm done. It's us. <laughs> Collectively. Sometimes it takes three people, three hands. Tackle the beef. <laughs> no? Nigga, this ain't Taco Bell. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck one with you, nigga. No, it don't. But J. Cole. <laughs> J. Cole. Let's talk about J. Cole. He let Nas down. He let Nas down. He let a lot of people down at Dreamville <laughs> Fest. I feel like that was such a long time Wait, ago, hold but... Hold on. I be feeling so bad for Reggie, because Reggie really don't give a fuck the way people do a fuck. She don't. But we know that. Yeah. But the people that know her know this podcast. They know that, hey, they might think she's she the... Fuck. I just... Yeah, yeah. I know, I'm, glad, I'm so glad you guys caught that, because yeah. I was just sitting here. <laughs> I didn't say anything, and Alex already... Ready. Yeah. I was like, I feel so bad for Reggie. I'm like, what, what am I yeah. doing? But we we, we got to acknowledge it again. Halfway mm-hmm. point to 2024, right. that was a big moment when uh, the beef kicked off. Again, we kind of started out, and we didn't even really cover the magnitude of that situation between Drake and Kendrick. So I'm not even mad going backwards and, and yeah. inserting J Cole's participation uh, part. Blah, 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 yeah, participation. Yeah, mm-hmm. or lack thereof. Um, but yeah, J Cole he dropped out immediately. Exit stage left. There's a rumor going around that Schoolboy Q, Reggie, mm-hmm. give him a heads up. So I really looked into this yeah. because it made headlines. And like I was like, okay, what actually happened? So when you look at the story, the original story, someone from Hip Hop DX saw Schoolboy Q and J. Cole talking before. Mm. And then the headline was like, oh my God, Schoolboy Q convinced J. Cole not to... Like, mm. But that was never confirmed, so that's why I never ran with it. Gotcha. Like, no one actually said Schoolboy Q said this to J. Cole. It was very, like, rumored that kind of blew up situation, in my opinion. But, yeah, people said that Schoolboy Q convinced J. Cole to back out of the beef right before his set at Dreamville Fest. If you guys want to believe it, I mean, it makes a great story and it makes kind of sense, but mm. I don't know. It's never been confirmed. And to the Dream Hill, uh, the Dream Hill, the Dreamville Hob, mm-hmm. I mean, post battle, J. Cole has been looking better and better. For sure. And he's been right? spotted all around the city riding his little bike. Bi- <laughs> like, and he, and he, w- but genuinely though, like, there's been fans, um, like taking videos randomly and yeah. then like Dreamville pages will like retweet them and stuff. Of him just like chilling on on like a park bench writing. I know he's writing rap so because he has his headphones in. He's yeah. writing on his notepad and he's like bobbing his head. And then there's that girl who like randomly found him on the beach like recording a song. If I was, if so I, I don't know. I like that shit. I don't know if, how that looks to people, but I don't know. I like that he's just spending some time alone. If I was Drake and Kendrick, I would envy J Cole for that exact reason. J Cole of the three is the only one who could really leave outside on his, by himself. No, on his dolo yeah, security, really him, yeah. and, and he doesn't have to think about like danger or for his life. Yeah. The only people like <laughs> the only thing he has to worry about is like fans mobbing him. But sure. other than that, no, nothing like negative, you know. That's why I should have been six five. <laughs> he is not because when you six five, you don't get scared of nothing. I don't think that's why he walks. You sure? Like that. It's the energy that Russell you put Westbrook. out into the world. Amen. If you put yeah. that type of energy <laughs> yeah. out into the world, yeah, you're going to get it. Yeah, because even like, hmm. honestly, like, even though him backing out was embarrassing, people are very against it. When he's out and about, people don't really bring that negative. They're, they're yeah. not like yelling at him, no. like making yeah. him feel like shit. They're kind of just like letting him be. Like, even going back to what I just said about Rick Ross. Rick, no, Rick Ross is the first person in history <laughs> to get punched in the face in Vancouver <laughs> by Hell's Angel. Like, you put that energy out into the world, Yo, yeah, cause, you're cause, going to get it yeah, back at absolutely. some point, one you're way right. or the other. Because stereotypically, right. Canadians are very nice. Exactly. And they yeah. still beat him up. Like, <laughs> like a fucking thing. Like, yeah. So, now they got hitters in Vancouver. I, I mean, clearly they do somewhere, but I think it goes back to the energy you put out into the world. Like, yeah. J. Cole, he set out to be peaceful, to be neutral, to neutralize the situation and say, hey... I don't want any parts of this. I love Drake. I love Kendrick. Mm -hmm. I am going to remove myself from this part of the race. Like when it was just on wax, when it was just on records, when it was just competitive, when it was a friendly competition, I'm here to take everybody's heads off. Mm -hmm. But now that I can see this is going to get a little bit more personal, I don't want no smoke. And I think the only person still uh, disappointed with J. Cole is Kendrick. And me. (laughs) Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh shit! The competitor <laughs> in me, oh, and, I, and, but... and nobody gives a fuck. And I'm sure there's other people that feel like me. Yeah. But to that point, I think there's an audience, there's a demographic who really believed in J Cole's ability to 
say, hey, this is the opportunity where I want to be number one, and you can prove it because now the the perfect storm happened where you three guys are in a conversation, y'all are all acknowledging each other directly. But again, from a human standpoint, I can understand him wanting to protect his peace. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can understand sure. him wanting to say, hey, I don't want this to be personal. I don't want this to get nasty. That's not where my spirit is. That's mm-hmm. not where I'm at as a person in this day. Mm-hmm. But from a competitive standpoint and from a fan standpoint, we wanted to see J. Cole go there. Yeah. And from Kendrick's standpoint, I think he's on some shit like, yo, Cole, you're not down with us. You was the dude that made false prophets when you felt people weren't being themselves or this and that. Or, I, and Kendrick has mentioned it on some of those diss tracks. He keeps bringing Cole still being, I forget the lines. He said, Cole faking or some shit like that. I'm like. It was kind of, I, I yeah. know, you it's know not the, the exact part. It yeah. was like. Oh, Cole shaking in fear. I'm not like something like that. That's what Drake. I, that said. That was Drake said. Kendrick. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, you're no, you're right. right. Kendrick that. said Cole fake. He I'm, said you did Cole dirty. He he said Drake did Cole no, foul. No, it's some else. It's something else. It's okay. something else. Yeah, right. It's some around the line. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm no. gonna look it up. But I do think he's really disappointed in J Cole because I think he was the one where he was like, "Yo, dog, like we supposed to be the real." Hip hoppers. Hip hoppers. <laughs> the real backpackers. <laughs> right? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. 